This is just a short video tutorial to show you how to create a virtual drive so that you can run TeacherWorks from your computer or your um, portable hard drive without the CD or DVD in the drive itself. And there are just a few steps to this. Um, the first step is you want to go to Google and download the free program called Magic Disk. So just put Magic Disk in the thing, look for it, download it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and we're going to do a search for the program called Magic Disk. And this is a free download. It's going to let you create a virtual drive. We're going to go to downloads at cnet.com. And we're going to go ahead and download Magic Disk. There are a number of different programs that do this. If you get the pop-up blocker, go ahead and let, let it download the file. And we're going to run it. And we're going to run again. And we're going to allow. And depending on which um, version of Windows you're using, how many of those pop-ups you'll get. Um, but this is a way to allow you to go in. You're going to download the program. And we're actually going to create a different hard drive or partition your hard drive and call what is called a virtual drive. So we're going to go ahead next and next. Just allow it to go ahead and install. Once it installs, it's actually going to show up down on your little program menu bar at the bottom. And I'm going to restart this and then I'll turn the computer back on and continue the recording when we do that. Step two, you want to use Magic Disk to make an ISO copy of the disk. Okay, step number two, we're going to go down to the little program bar and we're going to find the magic disk icon which is right here and right click on it. You need to put your TeacherWorks disk in the CD drive and then we're going to make a CD DVD image. The output format that we want is an ISO and the output file um, we're just going to put it in my documents for right now. Um, actually, we'll create a file called TeacherWorks and save it. And we'll go ahead and we're going to make the CD image. And this will take just a few minutes. You want to do the ISO, which stands for International Standardization Org, not that you care about that. But it's going to put it in that file, but we could save it anywhere we want to save it. But for right now, it's going to go into My Documents. It's going to take a little bit to do this, and then I'll bring up the next part of the, the video. Step three, you want to create a virtual drive, and then you're going to associate the ISO of TeacherWorks to the drive that you've created. As it said in step three, you want to create a virtual drive. So you go down to the magic disk icon at the bottom where your little icons are, right click on it, and go to set number of drives. Now you can do a number, but really one or two will be sufficient for what you need. So we're going to click on one, and we're going to create that virtual drive. And then we go directly to step four. We're going to go back down there. We're going to right click on the icon again. We're going to go to the virtual CD ROM and we're going to mount that drive and we're going to go back to my documents where we put teacher works we're going to double click on teacher works and it's going to use that in there so it's put teacher works now in that drive and we're going to click out of that now now I'm going to go to my computer and with you on a regular Dell you can just eject your disk um, the computer I'm using to do this, I have to actually go to my computer. I'm going to right click on my CD drive and I'm going to eject my CD because if you have the CD in the drive, TeacherWorks will try to read the CD that, you're, that you have in the drive rather than the one that you've created on the virtual drive. If I go to Open Teacher Wraparound Edition, 
there's my chemistry matter and change, which is the disk that I copied in, on my ISO drive. And you're going to notice here it works now just, you know, I can go to any of the resources and bring it up. I can also click out of this and I can go into the lesson planner. And there we go, we're into the lesson plans. And all this is running off of the virtual drive without the disk in the disk drive.